Hello boys and girls, uh, welcome to my latest video. This is actually the first portrait or colour portrait that I've tried. Uh, it's the first portrait I've ever tried in coloured pencil. Okay, so it happens to be a double portrait, but it's still in essence a portrait. So just while I'm making up my uh, swatch cards and uh, trying to decide what pencils I'm going to use on this portrait, I thought I'd just give you a little insight into what's been happening uh, lately. As you know, I've been trying to find the right paper to draw on with coloured pencils, uh, hence the, the fact that I haven't tried uh, many portraits yet, because that's what I want to uh, really do if I can. Uh, you all saw that I tried the pastel mat, I mean that cost me like, I think it was about 30 quid, 35 euros, uh, 35 dollars. Um, yeah, I wasn't that enamoured by it uh, to begin with. I'm going to get uh, stick to it and try some animal work on it, but uh, for, for portraits I don't think it'd be for me. I did the Spider-Man drawing on it, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I tried the uh, Fabriano, that was quite cheap actually, but again, it was just a bit too smooth. Um, yesterday I started a new drawing on uh, Bristol Smooth, which is what I'm using for this drawing, you can see here, but it didn't really turn out well and I ended up ripping it up. So what I'm hoping to do in the future is try some Bristol 400 series and Bristol 500 series and hopefully some Stonehenge paper and uh, let's see if I can find the right paper. Also with this drawing, uh, I was pleased with how, uh, as you can see from the title, I'm drawing Laurel and Hardy. Uh, I was pleased how Oliver Hardy uh, turned out in this first part, but in the second part of the video, you'll see that uh, I'm, I wasn't really that pleased with the way Stan turned out. I mean, it's not too bad, and let's not forget, it is my first attempt at a colour portrait. But what it's made me realise is, not only do I need to find the right paper, but I also need to really, really learn a lot more about colours and learn how to put colours together a bit more for the flesh tones and stuff like that. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to tune in for part two. This is only part one. So for those of you who congratulate me on the finished drawing, it's not finished yet. Uh, so please try and watch the video and uh, try and join me for part two as well. Thanks to everybody who subscribes. Thanks to everybody who comments and watches my videos. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all on the next one. Ta-ra.